Rich tributes were paid to freedom fighters as Goa, an erstwhile Portuguese colony, observed the Revolution Day on Friday, the 18th of June, with the freedom fighters urging the Chief Minister to optimally utilize the land which is scarce and fixed resource and not to allow it to be peddled to land sharks. It was on the 18th of June 1946 when Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia, a great nationalist and veteran freedom fighter, gave the clarion call to the people of Goa to unite and fight against the colonial regime. This set the wheels in motion for the struggle towards Goa's freedom. Since then, the date June 18th is being celebrated as Goa's Revolution Day to mark the historic event. Goa celebrated Revolution Day, reminiscing the sacrifices and valor of all the freedom fighters who shed their blood for Goa's freedom. The state government had organized various functions across the state. At a function held at Panaji, Governor S. S. Sidhu, along with the Chief Minister Digambar Kamath, MLAs, government officials and freedom fighters paid rich tributes to the martyrs. Later wreaths were placed at the Martyrs Memorial by various people led by the Governor, Chief Minister and Freedom Fighters paying their homage to the sacred memory of the brave and valiant Freedom Fighters who had suffered and sacrificed their lives for the noble cause of Goa's liberation from the yoke of the centuries-old Portuguese colonial regime. As Goa celebrated the Revolution Day, Sacrifices of the freedom fighters who shed their blood and lives for Goa's freedom struggle were remembered with 14 freedom fighters being honoured with mementos and shawls at a function at Azad Maidan in Panaji at the hands of Governor Sidhu and Chief Minister Digambar Kamat. Braving a persistent rain, dignitaries and guests participated in the colourful ceremony in the morning. On the historic occasion of Goa Revolution Day, Dr. S.S. S. Sudhu joined the people of Goa in paying homage to the freedom fighters. Governor Sidhu suggested that the freedom fighters' personal accounts be introduced in the school syllabus and colleges in the state. The account of Goa's freedom should be adequately reflected in the next school syllabus in schools and colleges. The freedom fighters are The president of the Freedom Fighters Association urged the chief minister to optimally utilize the land, which is scarce and fixed resource, and not to allow it to be peddler for land sharks. He also expressed concern over the increase in the number of casinos in the state. <laughs> Praising the sacrifices of the freedom fighters towards Goa's liberation, Chief Minister Kamat assured the freedom fighters of providing jobs to their children and solve their problems before the end of the Golden Jubilee year on the 19th December 2010. Similar functions were also held at Lohia Maidan in Margao. The Revolution Day program organized at South Goa comprised of PWD Minister Churchill Alamau, freedom fighters and other dignitaries. All the dignitaries present at the occasion paid homage by placing wreaths at the Martyrs Memorial at Marugao. Meanwhile, the Martyrs Day was observed in Vasco at the Hutatma Chok.
NCP leader Joseph Philip D'Souza, MMC Chief Officer Gopal Parsekar and Vasco citizens were present. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. D'Souza urged the Murmuga municipality to develop the space near the Hutatma Chowk in Vasco.